Hello, my name is Shyam Cha. I'm a consultant who can help you design great business models. A business model describes how a business creates customer value, how it delivers it, and how it captures value. For example, in the case of Starbucks, it created one of the best known brands in the world, starting from a single store in Seattle 40 years ago. At Starbucks, it's not just about the coffee. It is a global corporation with 20,000 stores, $14.9 billion in sales in 2013, and 200,000 employees. 91% of their sales come from company stores, 9% from licensed stores. Let us look at the customer segments Starbucks serves. The first segment is coffee aficionados, followed by mobile professionals and students. Starbucks offers distinct value propositions to each of these segments. For coffee aficionados, it lets them co-create unique coffee drinks, such as double caramel macchiato, or any of the hundreds of possible combinations of drinks. For mobile professionals, it offers a third place between the home and the office to relax, meet business colleagues, or work using the free Wi-Fi. For students, it offers a place to hang out with friends, do homework, and enjoy a beverage. The channel used by Starbucks is through its own stores or partner stores. Starbucks creates a close and personal customer relationship. Its customers have integrated Starbucks into their lifestyle as a long-term relationship. It creates intense loyalty through the use of loyalty cards and mobile apps for payments. To create such an effective value proposition, Starbucks engages in certain key activities. They include very effective marketing, a strong focus on research and development, and an efficient supply chain management. These activities require some key resources. They include its people, who are very loyal to Starbucks due to the way they are treated, its brand, which is one of the most ubiquitous and valuable brands in the world, and its packaging and bottling plants. Starbucks has established several key partnerships, such as with coffee growers worldwide, to grow eco and farmer-friendly coffee beans, as well as with specialized coffee machine makers to make customized machines for Starbucks. Its cost structure involves costs associated with delivering not just coffee, but a unique coffee experience. In addition to raw material costs, such as milk and coffee, it spends heavily on marketing and research and development, rents in prime locations, as well as people costs. It is unique in offering health coverage to its part-time workers. Its revenue stream comprises primarily in-store sales of coffee, tea, and pastries. It is adding some online component to its revenue stream by offering instant coffee via mail. To summarize, at Starbucks, it is not just about the coffee. It is about creating an experience via people, product, and place. This is a unique business model, not easily duplicated. If you're wondering how you could improve your current business model or design a brand new one, please contact us. Thank you.